स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग दैट इज हाइब्रिडाइजेशन यू हैव बीन नोइंग दैट नाउ दे इज डिफरेंट वेराइटी ऑफ प्लांट्स आर अवेलेबल द क्वालिटी ऑफ प्लांट्स द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्लांट्स कंपेयर टू ओल्ड वेराइटीज इट इज बेटर सो दिस न्यू वेराइटी ऑफ प्लांट्स जेनरली वी आर टेलिंग दीज आर कॉल्ड हाइब्रिड प्लांट्स हाइब्रिड प्लांट्स हैज बेटर क्वालिटी दैन प्रीवियस दैट इट इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द ओल्ड वन सो इन केमिकल बर्निंग we know that orbitals overlap forming molecular orbitals and forming covalent bonds this overlapping concept could not explain the nature of molecule the shape of a molecule the actual bond bond angle of the molecule how it deviates from why it is deviating from uh, normal properties normal regular shape so this different characteristic can be explained by hybridization concept it is a modern concept we can say nowadays every covalent compounds is studied its shape and bond bond angles are studied on the basis of hybridization so let us start what is hybridization and what are the factors of hybridization and what are the types of hybridization we will discuss today so hybridization if you see it is it is a phenomenon this is a phenomenon of intermixing intermixing of atomic orbitals it is a phenomenon of intermixing of atomic orbitals of an atom forming new sets of orbitals called hybrid orbitals it is a phenomenon of intermixing of atomic orbitals of closer energy of closer energy of closer energy of an atom forming new sets of orbitals called hybrid orbitals so this phenomenon is called hybridization so here one thing we have to see in hybridization that intermixing is a very very common word very important word in hybridization intermixing means we should not confuse we should not be uh, uh, confused that that intermixing means overlapping no intermixing means these orbitals of atom same atom having these orbitals having closer energy of a particular atom when they will mix they will be rearranged and when they will be mixing forming new sets of orbitals new sets means new variety of orbitals are formed these orbitals are differing shape size like this so new sets of orbitals are formed these new sets of orbitals is called hybrid orbitals 
so this is called hybridization so again i am repeating what is hybridization it is the phenomenon of intermixing orbitals having closer energy orbitals of closer energy of an atom forming new sets of orbital called hybrid orbitals okay then if you see what are the uh, types of hybridization types of hybridization types of hybrid orbitals you can say types of hybrid orbitals types of hybrid orbitals if you say these are like this sp hybrid orbitals sp2 sp3 sp3d sp3d2 sp3d3 so these are some important hybrid orbitals produced by intermixing of different as and p and d orbitals of particular atom so sp hybrid orbital sp2 sp3 sp3d sp3d2 sp3d3 so others also dsp2 like this these orbitals also produce so these are the types of hybrid orbitals produced by intermixing of different orbitals like a s p d by intermixing forming new variety of orbitals called hybrid orbitals the name is sp sp2 sp3 like this then if you see next is what are the uh, condition for hybridization first condition is atomic orbitals having closer energy atomic orbitals having closer energy of an atom take part in hybridization that means you see atomic orbitals having closer energy of an atom takes part in hybridization that means here particular atom its atomic orbital take part in hybridization which atomic orbital the orbital having closer energy having closer energy energy should be equivalent very closely closer energy very similar energy orbital can take part in hybridization then second condition is number of hybrid orbitals produced will be equal to will be equal to number of atomic orbitals Combine number of hybrid orbital produced will be equal to number of atomic orbitals combined. That means the number of hybrid orbital produced will be equal to the number of atomic orbital intermixing. That will be the important fact condition for hybridization. Then atomic orbitals having closer energy take part. for for the particular atom then number of hybrid orbital produced should be equal to the number of atom these are the condition for hybridization then what are the properties of hybrid orbitals properties
what are the properties of hybrid orbitals first property is hybrid orbitals ho ho has lower energy than atomic orbital H O has lower energy than atomic orbitals. Then second property is hybrid orbitals have similar have similar shape and energy. Hybrid orbitals has lower energy than atomic orbitals. Energy is less than the atomic orbital because a hybrid orbital is produced after intermixing of atomic orbitals, so that energy is less. The new orbital produces energy is less than the atomic orbital. Then hybrid orbitals have similar shape and energy. That hybrid orbital produce its energy and shape all are. Equal. So then another third property you can write that property three it takes parts in chemical combination. It takes part in overlapping. Overlapping with other atomic orbitals, atomic orbitals, or hybrid orbitals. It takes part in overlapping with other atomic orbitals or hybrid orbitals of other molecule. So. Mainly, this hybrid orbitals take part in overlapping, forming covalent bonds. So, these are important properties of hybrid orbitals and the condition of hybrid orbitals and types of hybrid orbital. Let us discuss uh, the uh, how the hybrid orbitals are produced. Let us discuss the formation. Formation. Formation of hybrid orbitals. Formation of hybrid orbitals. Let us see first. Suppose S S orbital when mixed with P orbital. This is S orbital. This is S orbital. This is P orbital when it intermix, forming. The hybrid orbital sp hybrid orbital. This is sp sp two sp hybrid orbital are produced. This sp hybrid orbitals bond angle is one eighty degree and shape is linear. Shape is linear. So this is the formation of sp hybrid orbitals by taking s and p of the same atom. Then one s combined with two p. If two p, let it be p x. This is p y. If one s and two p of the same atom intermix produce sp2 hybrid orbitals produce sp2 hybrid orbitals this is sp2 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 how many sp2 produce three sp2 This is one direction. This is one direction. This is three sp two produced. 
and bond angle is how much? 120 degree and step is triangular planar. Triangular planar. This is the shape of what? sp2 hydrohydrocarbon. When one s 2p intermix produce 3 sp2. Already we discussed what number of heavy orbital produce will be equal to number of atomic orbital combines. 1s, 1p, 2sp. 1s, 2p, 3sp2 produce. Similarly, if you see 1s with 3p. 1 1x 1p so but this is px this is py this is pz and 1s produce sp3 hydrometer sp3 hydrometer shape is like this sp3 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 this is also sp3 and what is the bond and what is the actual shape this is a small loaf four loaves and this is a four bigger loaves and this is bond angle is 109 degree 28 minutes what is the bond angle of sp3 heavy orbitals 1s and 3p, 3p means px, py, pj, forming 4 sp3 hydrogen and set is tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral set bond angle is 10928 minutes. Similarly, this is 1, 2, 3, then 4. 4 is 1s when combined with 3p then 1d 1s 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 means you can write s also you can write s not necessary to show the set not necessary to write the set we can write directly that 1s so 1s 3p 1d here 1s 3p here 1s 2p here 1s 3p 1d producing s p 3d hydrometers what is the shape of s p 3 hydrometers it is triangular bipyramidal triangular bipyramidal that means you can draw a triangle like this then here you can join orbitals then another will be above and below so this is sp3d all are sp3d So, shape is, what is the shape? Shape is triangular, triangular bipyramidal, bipyramidal, triangular bipyramidal, this is SP3D. Similarly, what is Next is when S mixed with 3P and 2B. Here 2D mix, 2D orbitals, 3P orbital, 1S orbital. Then what will the set you think first? Here 1S, 3P, 2D when intermix produce SP, 3D2. The hybridization is sp3d2. How much? R1 s3p4 to 6. So 6 
six sp three d here five here five you can write five five sp three d produce here six what is the shape shape is octahedral what is the shape of octahedral you can draw like this. This is one row, another row in four corner. This is your sp three d two, sp three d two. Shape is octahedral. It is called octahedral. Shape is octahedral. If you see the shape here, four are in one plane, four are will be in one plane. Then other will be above and below. For let us, I will show you here. If you see this diagram here, then suppose octahedral shape will be like this. This is four corner, one, two, three, four. Four corner will be four row, one row, second row, third row, fourth row, and another will be above and below the plane. This is one plane, another one like this. This is. And another like this. Above one plane and below one plane. This is your one one row above, another row below. So six hybrid orbitals will be arranged in this way. Four four hybrid orbitals in four corner and another two above and below. This is called axial. This is called equatorial. Four are called equatorial hybrid orbitals. Other are called axial. Here. In trigonal bipyramidal part, trigonal bipyramidal sphere, three are equatorial and other two are above and below. Suppose you think about triangle, triangle above and below like this. So trigonal bipyramidal, this is octahedral. So like this, another is also possible. That is six is you can do like this. One is. 3p and 3d produce sp 3d 3 that is shape is you draw just like a pentagon just you can draw in this way pentagon structure it will be better Like this, center connect to five corner. This is one row. This is one row. All are one one orbitals. I will do orbitals. This is five remaining two. Another one will be like this. Another will be like this. So that is pentagon above one and below one. So this is. The shape is pentagonal bipyramidal. Pentagonal bipyramidal. Pentagonal bipyramidal. So, like this, this is. But these are the types of hybrid orbital produced by intermixing with. Different atomic orbitals of particular atom. Another important condition also you can add. Third condition you can also add here. Three condition here. Second condition condition is number of heavy orbital produced will be equal to number of atomic orbitals. First condition is atomic orbital having closer energy of an atom takes part in hybridization. Different atomic orbitals, not same. Different atomic orbitals. Intermix in hybridization. Different atomic orbitals. By taking S hybridization is possible. You have to take S, P like this. But another thing is without S hybridization is not possible because the strength of the stability of hybrid orbital increases when S will be added. Without S, 
the stability of the habit orbital will not be more. That's why S will be always included in the hybridization. So different atomic orbitals by taking only P hybridization not possible. Different atomic orbitals S, P, D, F, like these different atomic orbitals will intermix. Then another remaining last one is DSP2. DSP2 we can draw here. DSP2 is that is 7. You can have DSP2 is like this 1, 1 D, 1 S and 2 P. DSP2 that is the hybridization is like this that is forming BSP2 here SEP is like this this is all our DSP2 all our DSP2 SEP is square lambda ok so different types of hybrid orbital produce just I am discussing I am uh, revising the lesson just uh, in shortly that hybridization is the intermixing of different atomic orbitals of an atom forming new sets of orbitals called hybrid orbitals and uh, hybrid orbitals may be sp sp2 sp3 sp32 like this different types of hybrid orbital produce due to intermixing of S, P, D, atomic orbitals. What are the conditions of hybridization? Atomic orbitals having closer energy take part. Then different atom orbital intermix, not same type of atomic orbital. Number of hybrid orbital produced will be equal to number of atomic orbitals intermixing. Then what are the properties of hybrid orbitals? Hybrid orbital has lower energy than atomic orbitals. Hybrid and more energy and more stable. At hybrid orbital has lower energy than atomic orbital and also and also more stable more stable than atomic orbitals hybrid orbitals having similar hybrid orbitals have similar shape and energy ok so these are the properties of hybrid orbitals then it takes part in overlapping with other atomic orbitals during the formation of covalent bond. Mainly hybrid orbitals take part in the formation of what? Uh, orbitals mainly it produce sigma bond, take part in formation of sigma bond. Then how the orbitals are produced when S mix with P produce 2SP, when S mix with 2P produce 3SP2, when S mix with 3P produce 4SP2, 4SP3. Similarly, when S, 3P, 1D mix, that is produced 5 sp 3 d Similarly, when S, 3P and 2D is mixed, produce 6 sp 3 d 2 1 S, 3P, 3D, when intermix, produce 7. How much? 7. 7 uh, hybrid orbitals. Shape is pentagonal by pentagonal. Here, shape is octahedral. And when 1D, 1S and 2P intermixing produce DSP2 hybrid orbitals and set is square plana. So these are the different types of hybrid orbital produced by the intermixing of different atom orbital. So today's lesson is that we discuss what is hybridation, what is the condition for hybridation, what are the types of hybrid, uh, hybrid orbitals, then what are the properties of hybrid orbital, how they differ from atomic orbitals how the different types of hybrid orbital produce uh, from the atomic orbitals on atom we we'll discuss today okay in the next class we will discuss how the uh, covalent compounds are produced by hybridization concept we will discuss in the next class okay thank you all